In this video, we're going to be breaking down Yeet's brand new music video, Come and Go. Now, on top of the song that I can't get out of my head right now, the video is just as far as so I'm going to be breaking down all of those techniques for you. So make sure to stick around until the end if you want to level up as an editor today. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Gus. I run the Friendly File Store in which I sell editing packs, presets, and templates that make your job as a video editor way easier and give you insane results without the burnout. I'm actually running my biggest sale at the moment, which is my all-in-one bundle. That means you can get all of my editing packs. I think I have like 19 so far, plus all of my future packs for one huge deal. It is for a very limited time though, so make sure to check it out. Now, let's get right into the video. As we start the video, the first thing we're gonna break down is, as you can see, you get this super fire, this title card right here kind of like this gothic title card style. So I'm gonna show you how to do something pretty similar. As you can see, it moves, it has this kind of like jitter feel to it. So let's break it down right now. Basically, we're gonna make a new text layer. I did my research. You basically wanna search for like gothic fonts. One font that I thought looked pretty nice is Amador right here. There are a lot of them all over the internet. Just search for like gothic fonts. So we're gonna type them and go. And just like in the video, I put the fill to this light blue right here. And we have a light white stroke right here. I put it to something like three. So we're gonna squeeze the text layer as well, something like this. And then the vertical as well, we're gonna increase it. Now we're gonna center our text. So that is pretty easy to do. You can just do a line. Now we're gonna give it that like small jittery animation that we can see like right here. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna press P to go into position and we're gonna do Alt click. Then we're gonna do posterize time eight. That's gonna make it like kind of like choppy, eight frames per second. And then arrow to the right, semicolon. We're gonna press on enter now. And now we're gonna make it wiggle. Let's type wiggle, parenthesis. Let's type 24, comma, and let's do 50. So it's gonna move by 15 pixels every time. So as you can see, you get this cool animation, pretty nice. Now to add some final touches, we're gonna add some grain to it as well. So let's create a new adjustment layer and then we can add noise. Let's drag the noise onto the adjustment layer. We can make it something like, maybe like 20%, nothing crazy. Uncheck use color noise. We're gonna have this so far. Now, secret sauce alert, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own film scratch because as you can see in this video, they they have like this film scratch effect uh, going throughout the video. I don't know if you could see. Let me try to show you. You, you kind of have like this film scratch effect in uh, the background. So how we're gonna do that is by pressing Command Y to create a new solid. Let's, let's call that scratch. We're gonna keep the background, we're gonna keep the color black and we're gonna put it under. Now let's go and search for fractal noise. Let's drag it on, increase the contrast, decrease the brightness until you get something like that. I think you can see where this is going. However, if we keep it like this, it's not animated. So we're not gonna have the effect that we desire. We're gonna animate it by going down to evolution options. Click on that and we're gonna animate random seed. So we're gonna do alt click once again. So when you do alt click on the stopwatch, it's for expressions. We're gonna type time asterisk eight, which is gonna animate it. As you can see, you get this insane scratch effect right here. So that is it for our first effect. Also in the video, an effect that I like a lot, this kind of like overlapping uh, videos. You can see it there. I thought it looked super clean. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So I'm just taking like bits out of the music video. I'm just gonna take like short clips of the video just like this. So maybe of the fans as well. That would look pretty nice. There we go. So we're just gonna scale this down. This is all about like kind of putting your videos and layering them together. So this one right here, then a bit later on, we can have the second video come in like that. Then the other one, we could even like rotate it, kill it down, put it there, maybe on top of the rest. I would put that one like first and then yeah, maybe do that. So it's super simple. It's all about just like scaling them down and using your creativity with it. 
I think that looks super clean. Now for the next effect, I'm gonna show you the absolute sauce to get some paper effects, some mixed media effects. I'm gonna show you in this video, they have that effect super like on point. As you can see throughout this video, they have these super fire mixed media effects. Now, as you know, these effects, they're super time consuming. They look super fire though but that's exactly why i made the tool to skip all of the hassle of creating mixed media effects which is my paper effects master bundle that i'll leave in the description let me show you how it works it is a cheat code let's go so to get on mixed media effect in this case it's going to be pretty simple i have our clip right here and we're going to put our clip just in the before section we're just gonna scale this bad boy up right here. So we have her before, and now all we gotta do is go to our paper effects textures right here, and we can choose out of the 15 mixed media templates that are in there, which makes the job super easy. Let's choose stencil lines. Let's look at what that looks like. So as you can see, as soon as we go into the composition, we already have our mixed media sequence going on. Let's play that through. Yo, that is so tough. That's crazy. That's so tough. That's crazy. So you can get those mixed media effects all in a single drag and drop, as you can see. I'll show you a couple other ones. Bullet holes is one of my favorites. Also, what's super cool within the bundle is that you have 20 plus doodle overlays that allows you to customize your scenes, uh, add some painting overlays to it, really add to that whole mixed media look and put it all together. Let me show you real quick. So for example, you have like all of these super fire gifts right here, as you can see. So what we can do is simply go to the before section. I got this other clip right here that we can start saucing up. So we can add, let's say like this money gift right here. That's super fire. I love this aim gift as well. Super fire. I love this rectangle frame. And when you're done doing all that, I think I'm gonna use this frame as like, oh yeah, that's so cool. That way it creates like an actual like painting frame now let's see what that gives us Ooh, with the crazy ribs texture one now that is insane bro what the fuck this is like the best pack i've made in my opinion like i'm so proud of this that's so clean so that is it for this effect if you want to save hours of your time and get fire mixed media effects just in seconds just like me you can check the link down in the description i left a discount code as well just for sticking around now let's get to the next effect so this is the last effect i'm going to show you in this video this is like this super like smooth extreme slow motion effect you can do that all in after effects even if you're filming like in 24 fps it doesn't matter i'm going to show you how you can do that so so we have the clip right here and all we got to do is basically just cut the clip when you want the uh, slow motion to start so i'm going to start it right here so we're going to do shift command d and then we're going to type time warp and slap it on there right here and as you can see you're gonna be like what this isn't like the frame that i want that's because at the beginning you need to put the speed to 100 and then you keyframe it and then you put it to uh, the slow motion you want so we're gonna do a few frames and then we're gonna make it 10 percent that way now it's gonna look like this as you can see sometimes you're gonna get like those artifacts that is normal it's not always perfect especially when there's like a lot of movement especially with like the film scratch in the video it must not help but it is a good technique if you don't have like any slow motion footage you just want to slow something down uh that is a great method so that was it for today thank you so much for sticking around until the end if you enjoyed the video and if it brought you any value please consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you want to see next on this channel or any content ideas anything you want to see on the channel um, also i just moved out so that's why the setup is not as crispy but i still had to get some value to you guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys later peace